you think of it this way, now, this is a yard, but they tore up my garden, my garden area, my planters and garden area. And imagine if this was a farm. I mean, I, I rely on my garden to grow stuff and eat, obviously. But if I were a commercial farmer or a rancher like my parents, and they start getting this kind of stuff happening, you know, you're talking about killing off your your crop that you, you know, rely upon to live off of, make money off of. That's your, that's your source of income. It's, it's devastating. And for ranchers, a lot of people don't understand, you know, why can't we just coexist with the pigs? And I'm not saying we can't, but at some point, you've got to start... Um, keeping the pig population in check because they get so many of them and so out of hand because they're competing. They're competing for for food and they start pushing in like this and they start getting real brave like I mentioned and they can actually get so accustomed to people and so competitive for food that they can get very aggressive. They can actually get aggressive towards small animals, dogs, children. Uh, and again, if you're a rancher, they will absolutely devastate entire pastures. In other words, all the the grass and land that that you rely on to graze cattle, they'll come in and just completely destroy your grazing land and your growing land. People will comment about, well, why don't you call, you know, the DLNR or whatever, and uh, quite honestly. There's so much problems with so many people that there just isn't enough enforcement to possibly cover all the problems. And the bad thing is, is it takes something really major or really bad to happen before uh, corrective action is taken. And... Uh, Unfortunately, I, I understand that part of the problem all too well firsthand. So, kind of is what it is. But that's why hunters and hunting and pop, uh, controlling the population is so critical. Hunters play such a huge role in the ecosystem because the wild pigs have no natural enemy or predator that keeps their population in check except for man and if we aren't doing our job the whole ecosystem gets thrown out of whack and it becomes a huge problem.